first one uh, before we get there. So let's just see a couple of smokes. A Molotov, a flashbang on the NIP side. And already Plopski showing up in middle. That's the Molotov just straight into the window. Creating a lot of noise and a lot of chaos. And are they going to end up in A? They're going to try and run down Apex. And he's going to shut them down. Big double kill. First taking down Plopski and then twist close. I think that, that whole thing was like a knockout towards the connector. And it didn't work. Saibu going to be taking down Hampers. And now it's Nork and Rez left. Two on four. I don't think there's anything they can do. I think this whole round was sort of designed to try and kill whoever was in connector. And Apex, he's been really good the last couple of days. Yeah, the last time we saw Vitality play, he had a very good performance. And you're exactly right. That entire Pisteron is designed to destroy this player. And look, that, ooh, that's actually a great aggressive peek. The follow-up is even better. I thought they got the exact fight they wanted, but Plopsky wasn't even ready for that kind of a peek. Great aggression from Vitality here on Mirage. And they're off to a one to nothing start. Just a P250 picked up on Rez. There are, I think there are so many things that make this potentially a round that can hand, that can swing, or like a, a game, sorry, that could swing pretty, pretty wildly in either direction. Because what, what Chad was saying ooh, was basically the firepower on NIP is, is really looking great, but then there's Saibu on the other side, and what exactly, what happens if Saibu really shows up in a big way? I mean, like, that could be the factor that Vitality, if he doesn't, Maybe NIP will just overpower them. I don't know. It's or it could land somewhere right in between. Like I just, it's that makes this game really interesting. Yeah, I, if you look at the peak of Zaiwu, there's no one on NIP that can counter him. But I mean, if you look at if you look at the past, you know, month, the way this NIP team has played ever since Hampus joined the roster, and the improvements, the strides that they've made so quickly, like Hampus has been impressive. Plopsky has obviously been great. He keeps he keeps getting he keeps showing me that he can actually. Oh, great shot from Shocks through the smoke. Speaking of the devil, Plopsky, he has shown me every step of the way that he has more potential than I think he has. And it's super impressive how he keeps being able to do it. Misuta just looking straight into the smoke. A little bit scary. Oh, Rez had snuck by. But saiwoo has been thrown over the AWP that Shox had earlier. And he gets a straight kill on Twist. So a minute left. Big opportunity here. But Rez out in the open. No cover at all. And Apex will win the fight against him with the FAMAS. So... That's a critical fight, and I think that kill is probably what secures this round for Vitality. I don't know how they're going to get the bomb down in this environment. Whoa. It's still not going down next, and it's a pretty good spray. They shouldn't be fighting Hampus here. I mean, there's a minute left. Just l He has to get onto the side somehow. Yeah, and they wait for him to get a little bit closer, so good round from Vitality. I mean, it's actually even a cool idea for NIP to try and, you know, recover from this pickoff by just walking up A ramp quietly. Unfortunately, even when you get the kill, like, there's nothing to do after that. You could see Rez with the bomb had no cover. There was no smoke to put down. He had no teammates with him in the bomb site. He was exposed from every different angle, and there was no safety whatsoever. So a quick three to nothing for Vitality. Yeah, and not even the bomb plant. So, maybe slightly annoying. Easy enough kill. There are some beagles in play on the other side, so he has to you know, respect that a little bit. Apex, on the other hand, is uh, offering no respect at all, but is uh, putting on a bunch of good kills on the board. Triple for him in this round, and overall, he's 8-1. and one. Only really four kills have uh, gone in favor of NIP so far probably going to change soon enough but i actually think it's really interesting how how well apex has been playing in the last couple of, of games we've seen here for vitality yeah he's he's been he's been so incredibly impressive it's been it's been very awesome to watch and it's really cool to see it do it from, I mean, even more so than his individual level, I really like the calling that's been coming out from Vitality and from Apex himself. I think there's been some really, really neat things. We'll see plenty of it today. Miss Smoke could spell the end of Knock. That's a huge issue. Apex swinging a little bit wider, trying to take advantage of the mistake, has seen nothing yet. And now they're all going to back off the aggression. That was definitely dangerous. I agree. I mean, if he gets spotted out there, could be a problem. Hampus walking into a grenade. 
And they're setting up for a bit of a hit here at the catwalk. They're going to boost over. Oh, this could be really interesting. The timing for it is not that bad, but can Shox see who's underneath him? It's a big problem here. If the gun barrel shows for Shox, I think Nor could probably fight him without Shox being able to do much. Oh, and instead it's going to be RBK on the other side. Big getaway there, and... I don't know, now it's four on four, but with Hampus on low health and the rest of them over at this A side could end up fighting Apex. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. They have two ops as well, and one of those ops is Hampus. He's, I guess he's got a Molotov and a smoke to cause some kind of a fake. Thankfully, Vitality think it's going to be a B hit, so this might just be a false positive for the Vitality defense. It might just confirm everything. They've found out that it's nothing. NIP's got to go. Here's the utility. Flash up into the air. Apex over towards Ticket Booth. Plopski takes a lot of damage. Rez trying to put that bomb down, but it's... Oh! They lined up for him! They peeked right on top, and that is certainly the end of the round. Apex, so hard to put away these days. Definitely not the role that we're used to seeing him, but man, it's great to watch him perform at this level. One versus four here for Twist, just trying to save the orbit last four seconds. Gonna be walking in, and look, oh, he's still getting the kill, that's not so bad. Now, yeah, they probably can't catch him here. That is, oh, if we see the replay of that up close, that's gonna be painful. This is just such a weird round for NFP. I don't know why they took that so slow. As soon as that player goes down and B hauls, they need to be getting into the bomb site. Obviously, you don't realize there's three defenders there, but you have to pick up the pace. You have to get in before they rotate back. And they gave plenty of time for everyone to get into position. Five to nothing. And money looking good for Vitality as well. Yeah, money's looking good. Apex is looking good. Apex looking really good. Did I mention that already? Couple times, but you can keep saying it. You you are you are not wrong. That is a weird scenario. Saifu still goes down. Apex though just apparently can't be stopped. Wild, he's gonna go for a crazy spray, but he'll live through that as well. And yeah, might be time to back on out with about half health against any of those deagles. Never a fun time. Now they're yep, on a skirmish leading out of B. RPK and Shocks. So, great amount of map control being uh, brought forward here. Gonna go for a bit of a fight against Plopski, who gets dropped very low, and they're gonna come for him. He misses the chance. And, yeah, whatever damage or uh, potential threat there would have been in this round, it's probably been nullified with uh, with that two... Well, now a two on three, two on four. Still should be a good round here for uh, Vitality. Yeah, well, bad news for NIP. This seems to be a Vitality that's very switched on, that's very willing to be the aggressor. That's an important kill for Hampus because Apex was about to find out everything. Suit, they're gonna come in through the murder hole and he's gonna get a kill onto Rez. Hampus still has the bomb and the defenders are now split. 25 seconds for Hampus to make his decision. Is it the B-bomb site versus Shocks or is it A versus Masuta? He so wanted someone to come uh, look for him, but that's not gonna happen. He might be able to sneak in to get the bomb. Oh, no, Shox is actually all the way in the no, other side. No, Shox on yeah, catwalk. This is so smart, isn't it? Not going to get a chance to put the bomb down. Very, very well positioned. And uh, that is a sixth round on the board. Six and O oh in their favor. This is looking so strong. Vitality players are working really well together. I mean, just that subtle shift. Masuta with the kill, drop back into CT spawn. Shox push up on catwalk so you can help each other to a certain degree. Shox has all the lines of sight you need to, to work together in a post plant. But even previously, this is twice now, in the mid round, Vitality's made the aggressive call. One to push up mid, this time a push through B halls to make sure they can clear everything out and know what's coming. Rez manages to get pretty quickly into the ladder room. Good central position to be in. Really, no matter what you're doing on this map, it's always fun to have someone in that position, so... They can spend some time now figuring out exactly how they want to move around it, if they want to go in the window, or if they, you know, just want to have him lurking late for any kind of a B catwalk hit. Still have a minute and ten seconds left to discover exactly where they want to end up. That's going to be hurt by Nork. Man, 
with Hampus this close up in connector as well. Seems like there's a lot of opportunity. It looks like it's going to be a little bit late to be, but if Hampus could stick around in middle and not get discovered, he can stop rotations and then all they need is basically one fight being one and B, and they're probably good to go, but he gets caught by Saibu, and that's a bad start to this B hit. Now they desperately need to win. Nice drop down and a good follow up as they clean open that bomb site. And I don't know if they should be going for this fight. Maybe they could maybe they could show up on the edge and just look for an early kill, but if they don't get one, it'll be hard to fight your way into this. No, you actually have all the players in position to just keep them locked into the bomb blast, take out, take away as many weapons as possible. You have Masuto watching this exit through the B halls. You've got Apex in middle with that AUG watching for an evacuation on Catwalk, and you've got Zaiwu with an AWP watching for the push towards Market and CT spawn. So you have them all blocked in as much as humanly possible, and how many guns can they take away? NIP about to get their first run on the board. It's a question of how costly it's going to be. Masuta almost challenging for a third, but Apex has arrived, and he's going to fall as well. So actually, it turns out to be very costly for Vitality instead. That's a nice win for NIP. Yeah, that helps them out, uh, well, at least a little bit. Still some uh, money in the bank, obviously, for the French side. But 6-1 to one as we move into round number 8. And... That's a, f that's a bit uh, that NIP have to live through just to get a single round on the board. And all it really does is set them up for another round that they must win again to completely crush the economy here. So their job is not done yet. They picked up an MP7 on Nork, which could be fine. Feels like you're watching Chris J play all of a sudden. <laughs> Ooh, pop flash in. Oh, and they know he's blinded, but he still wins it. Masuta a little delayed in taking that peek, and Nock was able to regain some vision. Yes. Look how passive this round remains, though, even with that opening kill. No one's really progressing across the map. Just now, NIP starting to apply pressure. A lot of utility into connector. This double op setup, both ops are going to be concentrated in this same. They have a crossfire setup, one from Catwalk, one from Chickapooth. Nice flash, nice kill for Shocks. Yeah, they need to move quick before Saibu starts shooting them in the back as well. 48 seconds, they're picking up a bomb, but... Oh, Apex going oh. down. I was going to say, that was the insurance policy. Having Apex up there, that's huge. But now that he's down, again, things looking a little bit better here for NIP. The double orb as well, retaking with it is notoriously difficult, and it looks like they want to back on out. They don't want to be throwing this away. Already Twist is out looking for uh, one of those rifles. Doesn't want to get too far away, but if he keeps going, he, maybe he could be there to beat Saibu to the timing. That's a second round for NIP, and things looking up slightly at least. Yeah, well, Apex might have been able to save that round for Vitality, but he got baited into a shot. Didn't have the trigger discipline, and it gave away his position. Still a very stunning headshot delivered by Rez. But Apex forfeited the element of surprise. So NIP fighting back after six rounds in a row for Vitality. NIP have put two on the board. Their money grows, and Vitality was forced to save to preserve what cash they have. It, it should be another, it should be a buy. It should be a force upon Masuta and Apex. Drop them a Famas, have them get pistol armor. You've got two ops in an M4. This is well strong enough to force up this stage of the game. Yeah, and there's, there's sort of the ad, added bonus of the fact that if you win that round, maybe that's going to stop NIP's momentum before it gets too out of control. So they're thinking about it for a minute. But I kind of agree. There's something that really worries me, and you, you sort of you highlighted it in this round. Even even as they get the opening kill over on that A ramp, they're still being very slow and cautious here at NIP. And the problem is, I mean, there are a lot of smokes down in that round that made it hard for Saibu or Shocks to hit any shots with the orbs. But if you're going slow and cautious against orbs of this uh, caliber, I mean, even with smokes down, like that can that can you could get picked apart. It hasn't happened yet, but that's something that I'm a little bit worried about. Here we go. We'll see. A little bit, a little bit faster pace this time down mid with the cover of the smokes. One in window, one base of catwalk. Rez is already going to be able to challenge. It's two Famas here, and I'm not sure Apex is really interested in that fight. 
Last round, the ops were concentrated to peek into middle. This time, they're a bit more spread. Good win from Apex, that boost. If it wasn't Apex, it would have been Masuta. Yes, he clearly would have been there for the for the refrag, if nothing else. And what do they do now? I mean, that was first part of the plan. Now they're walking in, and an easy kill for Misuta. At least Rez is there to get another one on the board, but they're still four on three. He spent the first minute of this uh, of this round not really accomplishing that much. Oh dear. Yeah. Let's see where they go. I mean, they're going to be... There's, what, one smoke for Rez to use? You've got an AWP to go up against, and with that one smoke, you better put it in the right position. Apex is in support with the FAMAS. 35 seconds on the clock. I mean, even if you smoke off shocks, what are the chances that he just jumps on top of the box and, and just tries to fight you anyway? They have a flash set up. They go straight for the spray and only do a bit of damage. There's the smoke to try and block him off just a bit. 19 seconds. Apex here. Oh, he looks just away from the grenade. Might have thought that was a flashbang. He's still going to get a kill. Shocks will go down and Apex to fall right afterwards. Bit of a chance here. Nine seconds and no one there to stop the bomb. So first part of the mission has been accomplished. Now they're fighting out in the open. The Famasas are just doing so much work here for Vitality. Really quite amazing. Nork alone in a one versus two and he is trapped inside of the bomb site. He can't really escape. He goes for a swing, but RPK is there to take him down. Close round. But it'll be the AWP saved. Could save the other one if they really want to. And a seventh round for Vitality. Yeah, they got away with one there. Uh, shocks went a little bit early. I think him and Apex tried to challenge a little bit early due to the time on the clock. But unfortunately, when the bomb gets planted for NIP, they can't go anywhere. They're trapped inside of the bomb site. There's only, what, two places they could have gone. You stay at default and you put someone at the, at the boxes in the back. That's about it. So seven to two and Vitality pick up the double up setup. That's a nice force up and they get to preserve their economy and continue to buy and continue to fight. Yeah, now they've managed to throw away some of the FAMASAs. So they're into M4s instead. Still think it's... I mean, it's such a luxury when you actually do good work with the FAMAS, right? Because it doesn't feel like quite the same downgrade. And they obviously didn't have the money for anything else. Flash out. I don't know if he saw that. Nork shouldn't. He should be checking. Ooh, there's a bit of an opening. That's a nice kill. Yeah, he is actually fortunate. He saw just a little bit of that shoulder, but he was going to give it up in Uzai Wu. He's making a lot of noise, so that lets him know exactly what the play is going to be. And he's fortunate they haven't come through this smoke just yet, but now he's looking at it. Now he's waiting. Into the smoke goes Apex and Zai Wu all alone, and he's got three different choke points to worry about. This is a worst possible place for the AWP, and he's going to be a freebie. Bombsite is lost. Shocks and RPK will save, and NIP on, on three. He ended up worrying about none of those, uh, none of those choke points, Jason, which I think is, might be a key there. Can't really be disappointed or stressed out if you just, if you just give, you know, don't even try. Yeah, well, you know, when his teammates go down, I think if I had to guess what he was, what his, uh, what his play was, ooh, Hampus might be able to take some of these kills with him. That's great damage. If he could find either one of these, it would be spectacular. And RPK is kind of trapped. And Shox is getting shot from behind as well. No, this is a big issue. Yeah, RPK is definitely going to go down here. 23 HP. And he falls. Um, to get back to it, what I what I would assume that Zaiwu is thinking is more often than not, Palace just has one player, right? So if you would ignore all the danger, get up that ladder and challenge unexpectedly in Palace, if he wins that fight, he can find, or excuse me, if Zaiwu gets up there and goes and challenges for that fight, he can get some kind of safety in Palace and, and he can choose to fight or he can try and save from there. Yeah, I think you're right. That makes a lot of sense. They are actually finally forced to eco a bit here, Vitality, so... NIP should have a good shot of, uh, of getting maybe a, a little bit of an easier round. Not for Hampus though in the middle, he's oh fighting the entire team. But should be a free plant at the A-bomb site. He was fighting, I don't know, like Yao Ming. His crosshair was about three feet way too high. <laughs> Gonna fall back now. And yeah, the one AK-47 on Masuta is there and Vitality 
I guess now you just try and take some guns away. Ooh. Well. What's happening? I don't think they can win the round. I mean, they don't have the kit, so that's a, that's a bit of an issue. But they're certainly doing some damage here. Third kill coming in, in favor of Vitality. And why not? I mean, that's that's three AKs Holy that hell. they're now escaping with. <laughs> They've just robbed NIP. That's uh, that's not an ideal situation that, that you want to give up if you're if you're NIP. What a what a huge turnaround. That's. Vitality with this one save round just gave themselves two buys. Like the lack of money that they have to invest here with just armor and, and, and utility they have to buy, they're gonna be they're gonna have so much cash left in the bank. Really well done from Vitality in the fist run, and really sloppy as well from NIP. Yeah, uh, I mean losing the first rifle in the middle, I guess that can happen, but from there on out, it does feel like they're, they're still maybe a little bit too confident in taking some of those fights at a point in time where. Yeah, I mean, what, even if they got one of the kills, what would it have really mattered, you know? Just let them come to the bomb and, if they want to. Pampers in the middle alone, but this time it looks like they want to go quick at B. So let's see if Pampers can, yeah, create distraction. <laughs> There's the kill. That's a really, really big opening. And now they're going to be down hunting for RPK. Shocks going to be showing up inside of the market, but RPK is already down. Popski with a good follow-up, and it's time to back on out. So, yeah, they're going to need the money from those uh, those saved AKs. That is, that's one hell of a hit. Yeah, but you have to admire the dedication. I mean, a great shot from Hampus in middle, but everyone from NIP storming out with the utility, and they all know which routes they're supposed to run. They all know exactly which part of the bomb site is their responsibility to clear, and Plopsky was like a heat-seeking missile. Seven to five, and NIP have uh, gained pretty nice control. Actually, there's not a whole lot of a buffer built up in the money of Vitality, as I thought. They got three free AK-47s, but they've spent all the cash regardless, so... That's, uh, that's pretty surprising. A big advantage for NIP down the stretch. Yeah, but I mean, it would have been entirely impossible for them to get anything if not for that. So you're right, it, I, I thought they maybe would have had a little bit more, but it still still sort of will suffice to uh, to make them dangerous in the upcoming round. Seven to five. It took a while for NIP to build this comeback, but now that they're here, it's it's looking respectable. It's looking reasonable. Yeah, it's starting to look very good. I mean, five of the last six have been in their favor. And you can see how like how much easier it's getting now that they're able to open up more of the map and they're able to take money away and they don't have the double op to worry about. And NIP starting to gain some confidence. That's a risky jump from Plopsky, but look at the advantages it's given him. I don't think Shox will ever expect this. However, if he gets baited into looking for that fight on Shox, RPK is going to put him down with ease. Oh, and Sharks could be flashing Might even be RPK a pop flash in. peak. Yeah, indeed, and he gets both. That is... Yeah, you're right, it could have turned on either way, but that was set up so nicely. Man, that is brutal. Nice work from Sharks and RPK. Really, really interesting. I don't know what you do here if you're an IP. You've got 45 seconds. What's the what's the best possible outcome from here on out? Uh, bomb plan would be nice. You'll never know what you can get off that because Catwalk is being split. There is one more player. Shocks turns from the flashes. They don't clear him out. They need to find him. There it is up, Cat. And once you get this bomb planted and you get Twist with an AWP ah. in some kind of safety... Oh, that's fast. That is fast. Saiwoo gets it before the words can even finish coming out of my mouth. Rez, up next for a challenge. That is a perfect shoulder peek, and he wants this. But Zaiwoo's not going to give it to him just yet. The time is the problem here. Yeah, he had to do something. And Saiwoo will find him at the end. So slightly expensive, but they'll still get that eighth round on the board. NIP, plenty able to buy again. And, um, yeah, that's going to put us in the 14th round. This is such a setup. It's only fitting, really, that Vitality are that good with the FAMAS. It's, it's a sort of a French military rifle bomb chase, so... Maybe that's why they... Yeah. They love it. Uh, is, is that the, is this the team that you think is going to bring about the PPB zone uh, meta that, that you've been waiting for? 
Uh, yeah, it could be. That actually does make a make a lot I of sense. I notice. I notice you've quieted down a lot on that front of of, of champion, cha being the champion for the PP meta. It's the PP and Tech Nine meta. Get it right, Jason. When you just say that, it makes it sound silly. Nice. Got to pair it with a Tech. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a combination that is. A great nade damage onto Rez. Waiting for this smoke to clear. Ooh, he's gonna come right through it, and he was just rolling the dice that Apex wouldn't be in that position, but of course. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh no. That's not ideal. We caught it all on camera as well. Masuta back at ticket booth. Shock's waiting in middle. Zaiwu's coming up as well, so the longer this takes, the more dangerous it is for the ninjas. Yeah. Oh, nice timing on that swing. No chance now. 50 seconds here. Shock's bursting through the smoke, and it will be a ninth round for Vitality. We're going to see the last one of the half coming up now. 15th and... Well, they have some money. I mean, Nork could probably... Well, he actually drops an, uh, an AWP. I thought maybe he dropped two AKs, but never mind that. Um, would be nice for an IP to be able to have this sixth round here. But again, it's Apex on that org. Apex is 15 and 9. What a god. Yeah, he's uh, he's had a couple of really nice days of Counter-Strike that we've been uh, that we've been privy to watching, which is uh, which is very cool. Twist with an op at top mid. And nobody presenting themselves from Vitality, so a pretty standard round coming out for this defense. Three players over at A, Shocks on Catwalk, and RPK in that very same position as we just saw previously. Nork is angling for a shot, and he nearly takes down Saibu. That's, I mean, that's potentially very, very risky for him to try and do on his own, but... If he could have created a space with a kill there for them to come out a connector, and I think they might just do it anyway. It's going to have to be some good flashbangs to set this up, and maybe it could work out all oh, seven with that grenade. It might go a little bit far behind them. Yeah, it doesn't even do any damage at all. And now Masutra and Nork could be having a fight up in the apartments while they're streaming out into CT spawn. They're everywhere right now. I don't know if, if Vitality are actually aware what's going on at the moment. Big trade, an RPK with it's a boot, double kill. That's going to be the bomb on the ground, and I think that'll probably do it. That should... I don't know how you win this if you're NIP. There's, look at all the utility. There's three smokes and a Molotov that Vitality can just use to stall this out. Yeah. They, they can just com continuously re-smoke and re-Molotov that one choke point. And what are you going to do from there? Even the nade fails to get Zaiwu. The shot from Twist fails to get Zaiwu. And he's going to respond. Another smoke pops up. Flames in the window. And Vitality hits double digits. What a great call for RPK to come back in support of Shocks over at the market. Oh, and it's kind of impressive to see Vitality getting the last three rounds there and and sort of coming back on top. Yeah, there was there was a there was a stretch in that in that first half where I thought surely that NIP would be getting to seven. Um, felt like they, they kind of figured things out. They had enough advantages, and just obviously Vitality puts a stop to it. So so fair play. Five round lead and Vitality in this pistol round being a bit cautious for the moment. Shocks over in Palace starting to peek towards stairs and RPK starting to get frisky Ooh. coming up ramp and that's a shot and a half. Good night. What they <clears throat> don't know is Nork is actually in the same position. Could be a bit of a surprise. The bomb is really far back though and it feels like Vitality don't want to overcommit. Although they are getting quite far into the site. Nork taking a bit of a peek now. Don't know if he's seen anyone. It's so hard for them to know what's going on right now. Almost getting caught is Twist in the window, and now they should know. If Nork goes down, this round is probably done with. Apex is also looking to catch a rotation. Ooh. It's really worth keeping an eye on. He could get a big double kill, and that will certainly do it as well. Look at how smart they are, Vitality. This is just so cool. Apex, this one is on you. Glock in hand. Ooh, they're going to swing for it, but he still takes them both down. What a play that is. Two on four, and they are in a world of trouble here. They're about to get shot in the back. I don't even think they realize yet. Trying to fall back and reload right into the open hands of Saigu, and that'll be the end of the round. 11 to 5. That was, that was such a lot of control for the French side in this round. They just had it all figured out. Yeah, but what a completely different pistol run than what we're used to. Outside of this one kill for RPK, no one from Vitality had to fight for any of this map control. You had someone pressuring towards jungle. You had Apex, you know, aggressive on catwalk towards ladder room. You had pretty much the entire A bomb site was lost. 
but there was no real battles for anything. So you just had these individual players from Vitality set up perfectly across the map to destroy rotations, to disrupt the timings of those rotations, to take those kills. And you just had two to three people who were able to walk into the A bomb site and take it over entirely. It's going to be likely 12 to 5. And a full investment from NIP means Vitality might even be able to get to 13, depending on how many they're able to wipe out of the server in this round. Mopski with a decent deagle kill. Couldn't find space to, to even stand on after that one. So that's a bit unfortunate. But they still have the deagles and the scouts and the armor. Might as well save it for the upcoming round here. It's, I mean, it's sort of weird because you're right, it, this could be could be something like 513. And if NIP just failed their first rifle round, then this map could be over it's before over. yeah, before they even get really a shot at it, which again would kind of would kind of sort of swipe some of the some of the cool rounds that NIP have had, or at least some of the control that looked like they were about to build a little bit under the rug, right? If it's if it ends like, you know, 167 or something, you're just gonna say, well, whatever for NIP, but I don't know, there was a point in that first uh, half, at least, where it looked like they could have turned something around. But Vitality yeah. are such a cool team to watch right now. Well, they're playing, uh, I mean, they're, 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 they feel a lot like Na'Vi at the moment, where, like, every time we see them, I feel like we get a different, a different Vitality. Like, this is obviously the really cool, the really fun Vitality. Individually on point, Apex delivering. Strategically look pretty smart, some pretty clever calls. And, and then, you know, we've seen them on other days where it just falls flat, where it's only Zaiwu showing up and no one else is really able to help contribute and then and then just nothing works. So um, I think Vitality, just a lot of it finding their feet. Remember as well, these two teams have played each other so much in the past, like, four or five months. Like, they're going to be so used to playing each other. They know everything that they, they, that they do. So there's a little bit of, like, a game within a game going on specifically within this matchup since they're trying to fool each other from from the habits that they already know they have. Yeah, that is, uh, that's a good point. Could explain some of the trickery that's going on. Maybe that pistol round from, uh, from Vitality that looked so good. This round, all about avoiding the Deagles, the Scout, <laughs> maybe the Seuss on Plopsky. These two teams have played seven series and one best of one in 2020 against each other. Yeah, that's also why that Dust 2 pick in the mix had the analysts so uh, freaked out. Could mean that it's going to be real interesting. At this point, it sort of has to be Plopsky snuck in. Could have used the Seuss right then and there, but he decided not to. We're all disappointed. Yeah, the whole world is disappointed. We wanted, we wanted the squeak. Oh, no. That's uh, Team Molotov. Yeah. All right, well... That's that's a bit awkward. Zaiwu's on one. his own and he's wondering why no one's with him. Yeah, Plopsky does have one as well. He can put that down and he's actually arrived with the Galil. Screw the Molotov, use the rifle. And that one Molotov thrown by Vitality stops them cold and gets them demolished in B-Halls. Oh man. They missed the timing because of that. There was only one defender at B. That is real awkward. Quad kill on Plopsky, though. That's so amazing. And you're right. I mean, that, that just made all the difference in the world. I'll forgive him not using the suits if he's going to come up with something like that. But yeah, one, one missed throw on Molotov. And it all falls apart. Man. Apex. <laughs> Still at it. Double up now on the NIP side could be real interesting. I don't even know what to say. If well, if that's the if that's the round that that opens it up for NIP, would all it it would almost feel like it just wasn't even justified. You would feel like, oh wow, okay, well, so that's how they get back into it. <laughs> just just one little mistake. Yeah, well, I mean, that's, I mean, who? it's not their fault, right? All they can do is just keep playing. It's, it's yeah. not their problem to deal with. And, I mean, listen, let's be fair as well. They also got to come back. They're still six rounds down. Yeah. So, 
We'll find a couple of rounds in there that would mean that they deserve the comeback if, if they are to make it, even if that first one well, is, that was, uh, is a bit awkward. Was that was almost my them. point. Is like they, they did all that work that should have given them a round like this in the first half, and they, they weren't really rewarded in the same way. So it's just a bit, a bit weird that, uh, that Maybe it's delayed like that. gratification. Uh, you know, Karma just comes back to help them out a little bit later than they expected. Could be. Could well be. Well, you're right. Let's not uh, go reading too much into it yet anyway, because you're right. They still are six rounds down, so not a lot has to go wrong for that round to be uh, to be swept away too. Nork is moving forward with the AWP, going to get a deep angle in towards the hallways. That usually means the second player in B, which is Plopsky right now, could start to move around to get a bit more freedom to go in towards middle. If he wants to, Rez is real, real close to the jungle position here, and he's not going to get anything done. Twist will get one shot. Hampus, nice turnaround for the flashbang. That was that was a heads-up play. And now the bomb is back in T-spawn with 45 seconds, and they're losing the fight coming out of the connector. So I don't know, even if they'd won that fight, they would have had to run there and back again. That, I think, would have been very hard to do. Yeah, this, this round almost feels like it was doomed before it began. Apex, the last one left, and hoping to take some guns away, but he's also equally hoping somebody just walks into his crosshair. He's not really hunting them down. So, looking like he'll just save the AK-47. If you're Plopsky, maybe you want to start investigating right now. Find an AK on the ground somewhere. I believe there's one over at the triple boxes in the A-bomb site from Zaiwu's hands. Upgrade that Galil. You're a, you're a Galil over a Famas user yourself, right? Yes, I will. I, I think I would, I would sign my name to that. Um, I really don't like the FAMAS. Is there a gun that you would use the FAMAS over at all? Um, I mean, I would use the FAMAS over dualies, for sure. <laughs> uh, you take that back right now. <laughs> but that's probably it. I really have a deep dislike of the FAMAS, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Well, Vitality back to pistols. 2,000 uh, on pretty much every single player. There's, what, a P250, a Deagle, and a Flashbang for the entire round. And that, that lead that Vitality has is dwindled, and remember, we'll just keep going back to that Molotov. That'd be a funny, funny thing to ask about. <laughs> yeah. Don't think they would, not yet anyway, find it funny. If they win the map, maybe, maybe they could laugh at it, but... Out of money here. Don't even have that many tools to make it expensive. And the money is really building on NIP right now. Yeah, and Plopsky's still got that Zeus. We could see that come into play. So that's still on the board, Anders. Not all is lost. Um, NIP's only lost, what? They've only lost two players in the past two rounds. So that's part of the reason why that money is growing. And they shouldn't have too much of an issue here, considering there's not really a whole lot of powerful weapons or utility to negate any of the range. And good quad kill from Plopsky. Knock with an op kill on the other side of the map. We'll end the round. And NIP is just four rounds away. Four rounds away. Sizable bank that's been uh, building behind them. Vitality, oddly a little bit slowed down on their T side, which is again is normally where you get to dictate the pace. If you want to be explosive and aggressive, which is what we've been seeing out of them uh, in in the last couple of matches we've seen, this is where they could do it. So I'd love to see them get back there. Maybe this uh, position outside of the B bomb side is going to do it for them. CT smoke that lands this deep. That's pretty cool. Well, flashes come over. There's a lot of footsteps. No one's on catwalk to hear it, but they heard a lot of utility. So the defense considered shifting. But Plopsky called him off, and he does pretty good damage with the grenade. Four members of Vitality were in this B-Hall. So, I mean, if they decide to fall back, there's going to be a lot of time chewed up just relocating on the map. Yeah, I, well, they, they need to make up their minds, because if they want to go back, there's a lot of positions. Yeah, they do look check. a little lost. Yeah, and if they stay here, they need to move because otherwise, you know, for all they know, someone could be pushing on the other side of the map and figuring out what's going on. They've, they have no control over A ramp or A holes or anything. So I'd say what they're doing right now is incredibly risky. Now, they're not getting punished. We can tell on the mi mini map, but obviously 
they really won't know that. 40 seconds, and they're going to turn the corner into this AWP. If Nork gets the first kill, it's going to make Plopsky turn around, and he could throw at least a uh, smoke there to try and buy some more time. Missed opportunity, and now there's almost no time at all. Good kill for Plopsky. He's looking for a second one, but Misucha will take him down. Great entry into the site. Very uh, thin margin there to get through, but they'll make it. And now the bomb should be planted. No chance there for Twist. He's going to try again, but it's not connecting through all those boxes. And I don't know. They might want to call this off unless they can find a really quick kill. Yeah, I think Campus is going to go investigate. And if he goes down, they'll call it off. But if he gets this frag, which he has, how much do they want to commit? Or Twist are they just going to stick in their positions and take all... Okay, so all the guns is their design. And it's going to probably be funneled towards, you'd imagine, Catwalk. Although Apex is starting to push in towards market. I don't know if you caught this. Did you see? I can't really remember who were the two entry players but for, for Vitality. But did you see them almost get into position and like jump almost as if the footsteps were like the signal that they're ready to go? I didn't catch that. I don't know that. if you caught that at all. There was the first player who gets into the corner jumps and then the second player moves into his position and then jumps and then they both they both peak. So I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. I just that stuck in my brain. We'll have to go back and check. Maybe you've caught on to something early before everyone else. The double op is still here. And some rifles behind it. NIP is still pretty rich even after losing that round. But, um, yeah. I mean, as soon as Nork missed that shot, there, there weren't many opportunities afterwards. So that's a bit risky. Jumping here would also potentially be really risky. The side was going to back off pretty quickly after that apex in middle alone close in connector one of those powerful positions where all you need is really one kill and it'll crack open that a bomb site man they have so much space in middle to work with zyru yeah. with his op can be posted up protect them from catwalk apex and rpk with this attack this is gonna be tense knock with the AWP is rotating back to market, but Twist, oh my god, not even a chance to move his crosshair. What an opening provided from Zaiwu. 17 and 8 so far on the map, and now it all falls on Hampus. This double kill, <laughs> oh, that timing could not be worse. Rez now. I mean, I don't even know if there's anything he could do. Even if he has another kill there, it's probably still not doable. RPK actually flashed by a teammate. I think that was meant to be for him to go for the attack, but... A little bit of miscoordination. That probably could allow the orb to get away, which is probably still better news for NIP than if they'd stuck around for the fight. That, I mean, you would have thought maybe Twist actually had the advantage. Cyber looked like he was walking into that shot, but that plus the, the timing on that grenade was the end of the round. That's going to be 14 for Vitality. And now even if NIP have money to buy, they're running out of rounds. Yeah, they don't have a they don't have a whole lot of rounds left to play with to get back into the action. And I remember that that little three round streak that they had started with a gift from Vitality, the Molotov and those B Halls. So they still, I mean, kind of haven't shown they can stop the momentum themselves. This is gonna be tough. Fourteen to eight a six round lead and NIP will have another buy, but I I think after this next buy they should be running pretty low on funds. And that double up setup hasn't been nearly as effective as I think they'd like. No, it's been it's been pretty much put, never really put into use. I mean, we saw Nock try to hit the shot over at the B hallways. This time it was Twist going down. Saibu just sniping him away. Some good kills in this round for Saibu, and you see the frustration on Twist, and I could understand why. We are down to a four-round gap now. It's opened back up to six rounds with Saibu leading the board 18 and 8, and Apex right behind him at 17 and 13. So this is just a... A pretty good map right now for Vitality, looking real comfortable. You have to assume that they're going to be able to find a way to close this the way it's going now. NIP spending almost all of their money in this round here. Last chance saloon. After this, I mean, you have to rely on them to be able to save one of the ops, save some of the rifles if they want to fight in the next round. Vitality with a big lead and about to finish things off. Four players towards A. 
Two in Palace, two at the ramp, and you can see Zaiwu going for a pick in middle, and he's gonna stick around. He's occupying three people in the mid window for the moment. Although, I think Hampus hears, hears those footsteps for yeah. sure. So he's gonna have one to deal with. Twist has just rotated back with an AWP. It seems so risky to me, putting three people out of the hallways, and they're gonna back on out. It's gonna save you trying Yeah, to... I think that's the right call. Yeah, it must be. Well, once that Molotov comes in, right when you're about to execute, right when you throw a little bit of utility, the smoke to follow it up, you've lost a little bit of HP, you know you've you've been red. So it's back to Zaiwu. Waiting in the upper B halls, and there's no one actually in the site, so this could be a benefit. Knock can get smoked off. He, that's another piece of utility that just hits a player from Vitality in this hallway. They need to they need to chill. But look at how close Apex is. This is again one kill here. We'll oh, probably no. do it. What a find. Knock going down, and he is gonna be so frustrated. Plopsky as well. Just managed to walk past him, Apex there. He's gonna get a kill on RPK and tries to follow it up. Big double in return, trying to bring it back. And now Rez, close enough to maybe stop the bomb plant. Instant headshot taking down Masuta. And these are the kind of fights we're used to seeing NIP take and win. Flashed in, Shock still able to get it even while blind. And Saibu is left alive, and that is always gonna make you a bit worried. Bomb plant being attempted here in the Molotov. Oh, it's gonna land on top. He has to cancel that. Didn't want to burn alive. Now he's trying to hide in the corner, and it will finally go down at eight seconds left. Let's see. Oh, Saibu gets taken out and shocks. He's so low on health. There should be no way for him to win this. He's going to spray down one more. He's trying to find any place on this that's not on fire, and Hampus will find him in the end. Man, nine rounds for NIP, but it, that cost them a lot, and they could have easily lost this round. Yeah, that was that was a really brutal hit from Vitality. They played that so well just to even get the plan and get those four kills. Vitality, or I mean, NIP is lucky to have it. I mean, this, if you're going to miss Apex coming up catwalk like this as Plopsky, this better be the response. This double kill saved the round, and I don't even think it was his fault. I think it was a timing where he was checking underneath window for a boost, and it was just really unfortunate for Nock. A free kill from behind, but Plopsky makes up for it. Still, NIP just barely hanging on to this game. Oh. <laughs> Hampus is down and out. Saibu just runs to the A ramp and blows him up with that AWP. And again, Apex is in the middle. He's successfully done this a number of times. That almost is him finding a bit of an opening there. But now it's a dangerous fight against the AWP that he maybe doesn't want to take. He's going to smoke out the window. Rez with a bit of a response there, trying to see if he can do it. Twist goes down. Another opening for Saibu. Two kills in the round so far. And Apex is controlling this jungle. He's going to try and run through... That's a really aggressive move. Yeah, well, I mean, I like it. He had the reload coming in with that spam. He had a flashbang, I believe, from a teammate. He just never knew Plopsky was in the corner. Good shot from Shox. And the last two players, their position should start to be known. Not going to lead the way. Going to attempt to start this retake. Looking for an early pick, and it said he's going to lose it all. Shox now with a double kill. Zyru with a double kill. And Plopsky, the final one left, and I mean, NIP after this round, they have nothing to fight with. You can understand why they wanted to go for that retake. They've got no money built up in the bank. Yeah. And I guess for Plopsky, it's all about trying to grab an AWP on your way out. Yeah, anything at this point. Again, I'm just, I'm, I keep noticing, even though Apex actually got no kills in this round, the fact that he's so deep in the connector is such a worrying sign. And it's, he's done it many, many times. You can see how he's controlling much of the rotation as they come in through the window to try and help out. And obviously, wow, twist. Unhappy. 9 to 15. So NIP need the next six rounds in a row. That's... I don't even think JDM could follow that, that amount of leaning. <laughs> stretched all the way out. The king of leaning. Knock. Drops down, and what a desperate situation NIP finds themselves in. They've got to rattle off six in a row. And Knock is committed. A slow peek around the corner. Masut has finished him off. Apex finds Rez as well. And now... Ooh, <laughs> Shox really took his time with that, and Hampus is able to punish him. Oh, twist. 
It's gonna say, well, step too far there and he would have died. Hampus looking over the smoke, spamming the deagle, but no connection on the other side. And now he's gonna run right through and there's an AK waiting. Masuta not gonna allow that to happen. And this is looking good. Plopski those up the hallways and Twister's on the other side. Maybe, maybe there's a chance here for a bit of a surprise if they could time it well enough. Plopski has a flashbang, but probably doesn't want to be the one to initiate this. And there's a jump. He's been spotted and taken out. Saihu again, just so deadly accurate with that AWP. And Twist, one versus three. Sneaking in, he's going to get the worst kill. Saihu on the other side, though. He will finally miss a shot and go down, but Misuta will...